Hello and welcome to this video out of my networking basics series. I'm Wolfgang Tremmel and I run the DKIX Academy. If you're interested in more videos about networking basics, BGP border gateway protocol or other interesting topics, just have a look at the DKIX website. So this video is a little bit out of order for the networking basics series. Let's start with the presentation and I tell you why. In uh, networking basics 2 and 2a, I talked about Ethernet and VLANs. And today I'm going to talk about Q in Q VLAN double tagging. This is not really a basic topic but it fits so into the Networking Basics series, I thought I'd just publish it here. And also it's a little bit DKIX specific, but please stay, watch, you're going to learn something. Let's start talking about how we use VLANs at DKIX. Standard DKIX access product, the peering product was always to deliver a peering service on an untagged Ethernet port. So you could get the Frankfurt peering service on a standard Ethernet port and uh, just peer in Frankfurt. With the introduction of multiple exchanges and multiple peering learns, you could get the multiple services on one port, but to do that, we, could, we had to tag the ports with a VLAN ID. So once you have a tagged trunk port, the trunk Ethernet port, you could get multiple peering services on one physical port, each of them tagged with a different VLAN ID. With the introduction of cloud services, we also started to deliver cloud services also tagged with VLAN ID on, a, on the one physical port you had. So here in this example, you're getting a cloud service tagged with the VLAN ID 500 on the customer port. But since cloud providers often have their own VLAN ID range, we translate the VLAN ID within our infrastructure. So for cloud services, the VLAN ID doesn't have to be the same. Basically the same is true for peering services. Customers can select their own VLAN ID on which VLAN ID they would like to receive which service. Now, out of the cloud providers, Microsoft needs a little bit of a special configuration. Let's have a look how that works. Microsoft Azure is connected to the DKIX infrastructure with two connections, a so-called primary connection and a secondary connection. And on both of them, each customer VLAN is configured. Now, since they want to use their own VLAN IDs, of course, we also translate the VLAN IDs in our infrastructure. So customers have on their side another VLAN ID than we see at Microsoft. And the VLAN ID on the customer side can be selected freely by either the customer itself or by the ISP of the customer. Now, this looks fairly easy. But now we come to the speciality of Azure. Microsoft not only delivers one peering service, one connection service on their Express Route product, they deliver two, Azure Private and Azure Public peering. And both can be reached via the one express route the customer orders. But how to separate these two? How to separate these two services on the Microsoft side and on the customer side? Well, you might have guessed that if you want to separate things on layer two, you're using VLANs, but you already have a VLAN to separate customers. Now, what we are doing is we are adding a second VLAN tag to this, a so-called inner VLAN. Keep in mind, if you have multiple VLANs on one port, the payload of Ethernet is IP and the VLAN tag is used to deliver multiple Ethernets on one physical port. 
now you can add a second vlan tag to deliver even more uh, physical logical vlans on one physical port let me show you how the ethernet frame changes if you do that the standard untagged ethernet frame you know with the ESA type field when you tag with the frame with a VLAN ID, the ether type field is 8100 hexadecimal and the VLAN ID follows. So you see that here in the lower frame. Now, if you add a second tag to that, the original tag wanders one to the right and the second tag is added in front. The VLAN ID of the, the ESA type of 8500 stays with the inner tag and the outer tag, the outer one, which is seen first, gets another VLAN, gets another ESA type, sorry, of 88A8. So this is how it works. And they are processed only one after the other. So if the, the device, the frame receives only sees always the outer tag. But how to double tag? How does the tag get onto the frame? Where to do that and how to do that? There are a couple of options. Let's have a look at a customer who is directly connected to DKIX. The customer uses a router to connect to DKIX and all modern routers can do double tagging. So the customer sets both tags, the inner and the outer, on the router. And here is an example how to do that on a Cisco router. Keep in mind the MTU, the maximum transmission unit, must be large enough for an Ethernet frame with two tags. The outer tag, this is the tag for the primary and the secondary connection that must be first, and that can be two different tags. Remember, DKIX translates these tags on the way to Microsoft. So this customer has only one physical, con physical connection to DKIX, and they're using two different outer tags, one for the primary and one for the secondary connection. The inner tag, which distinguishes between which peering services, Azure Private or Azure Public, this has to be the same. And this tag is only known by the customer and by Microsoft. This tag is completely invisible to DKIX. We don't see that. We don't care about it. You can choose whatever you like, but you have to configure it on your router and in the Azure platform. Well, this is an example for Juniper. Also, you configure both tags, the inner and the outer, and I'm showing here only the primary connection. So if you connect via an ISP, there are so many combinations. Who can set which tag that I'm not showing them all? Here, in this case, the ISP takes care of the outer VLAN and the customer sets just the inner VLAN. So for the customer, he sets the inner VLAN tag and the ISP adds the outer, TLA, the outer tag before handing over the frames to DKEX. But the outer tag also has has to be there once DKIX receives the frames. And like I said, there are multiple more options. If you have any questions with that, please contact our pre-sales team. They will be happy to help you. Conclusion from today, some facts about double tag VLAN. Always keep in mind, Ethernet is a broadcast network and VLANs set up virtual LANs on one common physical infrastructure. VLAN IDs run from 1 to 4094. DKX uses VLAN IDs to deliver multiple services on one physical port. You can double tag VLANs to deliver multiple VLANs, multiple services inside a VLAN. 
and like Microsoft does that with Express Route. And you can set both tags, the inner and the outer, at the same time on any modern router. So, thanks for listening. Please download the PDF of the presentation. At the end, there are more links for further information. And otherwise, thanks for listening. I'm Wolfgang Tremmel from the DKIX Academy. See you next time. Bye-bye.